You suck. <laughs> but if you find people that can make you think better, yeah. you should always uh, be loyal to them. The, the, the good thing about Rotterdam, it's so damn ugly that everything you make is more beautiful. Yeah. So, um, no, it's really true. It's, it's I have some nice architecture from a certain point. Okay, you have, you have one panorama view if you're like um, coming from, uh, from one street and you see the nice bridge and all the new buildings. And a certain, uh, at a certain moment you move and everything starts to be ugly. Um, but I think it's a very good environment. It's like a neutral canvas. Yeah. You know, if everything around you is beautiful, it's it's far more hard for you for your mind to just relax and say, well, it's less cultivated. Like yeah. Amsterdam, everything is already like each corner, everything is painted. And it's like a public perfect, museum, no? Uh, yeah. And, and there, your creative space is much less than here. So yeah. actually, we like to be here a lot. So you can say, why don't you leave an ugly city? But uh, ugly is is good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's also that um, you feel that nothing... Um, and Holland is very organized, uh, regulated, um, but this, this whole Rotterdam feels a little bit like um, nomad city. You know, you can move around and you can... Yeah. Well, we can sit on the harbor the whole day and build a campfire and nobody's going to kick you off. Just because... Try that in Amsterdam. Yeah. You know, helicopters the, will be uh, above you. Uh, yeah, so it's... it's um, for us as artists, more freedom. And if you need a big yeah. space, you, you're a movie maker or whatever, you, you can't afford that in, in, in Amsterdam. And you can here. Yeah. So that, that's... I think... Main thing is, it's just cheap and ugly and that's really good. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And it's like a magnet. Vincent de Rijke is a little bit uh, uh, the godfather of this building. Um, and because he, he can really, um, well, uh, he, he also teaches at the academy, he took us here, you know, he invited Joris Laarman, uh, Christine Meinsma, other people, and then, so a lot of generations just come here, and the, if the magnet, the magnet is on, then it's just on. And, and it's very good, yeah. you have the older generation on the top, mostly, or yeah. not that old, but uh, a little bit more experienced than us, and like, we just started, we were just finished, uh, yeah, what is a studio? Like, yeah. what do you do if a gallery calls you? Uh, like, uh, all those s small and very important questions or answers, they helped us with it. Yeah, so that just was walk very upstairs, good. They you think have uh, a combination of uh, old and new together. Uh, yeah, it helped us a lot. Yeah. And I think the, 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 the people around here, they want to share, uh, share information. Eh? And if you, yeah. I, if, I think when you don't protect your information, you can go only get better of it eh? the, the, uh, in the creative world. So you, I think the more we talk with each other, the more I can make your ID better and you can make my ID better. So I think that, that, um, that's also the way why we uh, work very well with uh, the three of us. I, uh, Judith isn't here now, but um, each person can be their own person instead of that there's like a company setting and uh, we don't feel like that. I feel uh, um, still as a student every day. You, and you just get, you get a nicer uh, apartment where you can live in, but the, the, the essence of that you come in and that you do something with a group, I hope we never lose that. Eh? Because you can uh, have your own uh, design studio with your name on it, it's very plain, very simple, but you should use it, each other's uh, talents, at least, at least eh? that's our thing. So um, I think the more you share and the more chaos you create, um, and then uh, sometimes total uh, silence, then s stories start. Uh, in empty rooms, you can also get stories, but at a certain moment, you have to go out. So, yeah. uh, we don't have a, s a secretary, we don't no. have an office manager, we don't have this. I, uh, uh, I wish we have, uh, had them, but we are, the we are now exactly now in a transition. We had the first show that was very successful. Now that gives us the opportunity to not only invest in our own projects, but they also invest in giving us more time. Because I'm doing a lot of boring paperwork. Yeah, a lot. I, uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, too much for my uh, um, sake. For my sake, yeah. So uh, at a certain moment you need it, but it should never be like, oh, now I have an office, uh, a design office, so I should have somebody at the reception and this and whatever. Yeah, it depends also like what you want. Like yeah. uh, uh, how big do you, does your company uh, should be? Like when are you happy? Like, uh, we are actually very happy with this size. Like, sometimes when a project grows, you get all the interns because we have a lot of applications. So the moment we need them, we can choose, uh, uh, and freelancers are also there. So in that sense, we like to breathe, no? Like, expand your lungs sometimes, and, yeah. and then we inhale. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, not fully. Uh, um, we, we just made an agreement that in the studio we never gonna, we're only gonna hire freelance uh, yeah. uh, people. Well, maybe one secretary or an office manager who, who gets our, uh, sometimes we're too chaotic um, uh, and I, uh, I want to get that out, but that's like a small little detail. But freelance keeps also the freelancers happy. Because you know they work and, and they're not having to go to work sit at this moment. No, they can. They are there because they're talented, and they know that and they feel that. So, well, yeah, I can imagine like uh, uh, what is part of our success is that we're very naive and uh, sometimes totally not realizing uh, what kind of world is around us uh, in the sense of uh, how important it all is and uh, who the people are that are sitting in front of you. Like when the MoMA called, like, my brother was asking who is the, uh, who are they, MoMA? <laughs> so it, um, Museum of Modern Art. Um, that was in the beginning when we, we graduated. So that naive, like we were not busy with like, oh, what are we gonna do? Uh, who is important now, the designers? Like we were only busy in our own little world. We, we lived on a farm and we liked to play around there. They yeah, don't read design magazines. As no, a student, like, as a student, don't just don't read like, uh, design magazines. And why is that guy successful? I'm gonna do, try to do that same because that's, I think, that happening right now in yeah. Eindhoven. There was a, before the crisis, there was a, a like, the sky was a limit. It was crazy, like, uh, all the, the, just the graduates asking like 30,000, 40,000 for a chair and limited it. And uh, all of a sudden it was just like, what is happening here? Yeah. And we were just in that lift. That 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 yeah, we before that lift, you mean? Yeah, like Maarten Baas started it also yeah. a little bit in your. Uh, it went like uh, from uh, a normal academy to a really good crazy place, and then suddenly it went over the top. Over and the then top. the crisis came. For us, it was the most perfect time yeah. to work in. Yeah. Everywhere, a lot of um, industries opened up that normally had closed doors. Yeah, they even like uh, industries like a car company that uh, uh, called us back, just from hey. I know that you uh, wanted to uh, reach us. And normally they just do uh, containers and shiploads and, and now they want to do one art project. Yeah. So for us it's, it was a perfect, perfect time. But in we had Lee, leader by Edicord. She walked around, you know, she almost floated. We couldn't touch her. For us she was also big. So she just went around with a list and she picked you. And if she picked you, you like skyrocketed. Yeah. yeah, we had so much, in, like, it's bizarre because normally you're a student and uh, you don't know what an interview is and you don't know what a camera on your face is. And, yeah. and all of a sudden, like, uh, everybody's writing down your words and like, well, <laughs> what are you writing down? Yeah. Uh, and, and we had so many interviews, like it was really a bombardment that uh, we got a crash course in how that world worked really fast. That, uh, like there were a few people selected in Milan and they, were, they had their opportunity. They were standing there and they were like, June is coming. And they were super talented, but they could not sell their idea. No, they, they, no they not sell it in the sense they could not um, communicate, it. communicate their uh, passion. And they lost, uh, we were actually uh, getting uh, or standing next to other works from other uh, designers, our yeah. friends, like, explaining to journalists, no, 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 uh, because Look how, the how, how amazing it is, like, you know, because it, the other, the artists were standing there like, like yeah, the super shy and, uh, and like we, th we saw it happen and then we could not, uh, so we yeah. also have tried to just uh, get that passion so, so, so communication, I think, is, is yeah. an essential thing. If you can communicate your story to the world, then, yeah. um, it's much easier to convince uh, investors, galleries, clients, and because often you're with a, a client that also doesn't understand your world, and you have to convince him that this is really a good idea, and, and you just made a, a, a blurry sketch. Yeah. So you have to uh, um, get him to be amazed, yeah, and think, you know, that he, uh, he opens up and says, let's do this. Yeah, and I think it's very, very good if you decide to start your own studio, to uh, to get friends uh, 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 that are also can be uh, investors for you, so you have to be uh, uh, um, yeah a little bit. No, we didn't make any plans, but we are we have some investors now, so they they already understand that you don't have to explain everything anymore. They just we we, we show them ideas and they just pick one out. And we like almost them. never sign contracts. No, also no gentlemen's agreement. Gentlemen yeah. agreement. Because if you get like I want to have a secrecy uh, agreement because I have to, ooh, this brilliant idea. Forget about it. They don't even want to talk to you. But that's uh, that's our theory. Yeah, yeah, but that's also a little bit in our world, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, if, yeah. You, if you work for like Philips, you have to sign uh, contracts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, we don't go to Milan every year. No. It was been, it's six years ago that we went to Milan, yeah. and um, 
because we didn't want to get um, um, stuck in the fact that, that you, you have to produce one nice thing a year, year. And, and present it and it has to be good. Then we thought, yeah, maybe it's going to take us 10 years, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. is that also good? You know, just to, to, to um, I don't know, to, to also to keep yourself not boxed in. Uh, we don't go to a lot of openings. We don't read a lot of uh, design magazines. We like parties, but it's not, I'm not going to go to a party because there are important people there. No. No, it's just that we get more and more inspiration out of uh, uh, the uh, science world, movie world, uh, the, the surroundings around us. Um, and that creates stories. No? A lot of these stories are created with things that you don't agree on. Uh, that you, you think uh, um, there's so many uh, products made with so many fantastic tools. Um, why are we using them in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in such a way? Uh, see, you see cars and 99% of the cars you think, why? You have all these robots and all these machines and, and talented people. Why have they been to be so ugly? So um, just to, to, and then suddenly you start to think in your own world, okay, I'm, we're gonna make something nice with those robots. And we're gonna make a story with that. And I think the, the, the whole uh, uh, design world and, and, and art world is only about telling stories. Even a painting is, is something about telling a story. And, uh, and not, not the economical thing in how, how, how high this glass is. That's a, I think that's a different design world. Yeah, that's product development. Okay. Yeah. So we leave that to people that are very good at that. Like, actually, you should uh, recognize your own weakness because then you know who to hire to, to complete the project. Yeah. So, so, but we just really love things that had time so long. That, that, uh, how many products are made and how many survive for 80 years? So if, if it must be a special thing, no? and even if, it, if, it's, if it's a worthless glass that survived for 50 years, I think it's valuable. Yeah. And I don't know, we, we are just sensitive to, to things that, that, that lasted so long to develop. And uh, we are building a speaker, uh, a loudspeaker, together with a violin builder. Because that craftsmanship is, is, is hundreds of years old, but they only oh, make violins. Yeah. So maybe if we put it in a different context, we can use all of that knowledge into a new product. Yeah. Well, just, uh, I think, flipping around uh, uh, stories in different contexts and then you create a new story. Yeah, and, and recognition. It's not always like that at the Cinderella table, as, uh, but it still is uh, recognition hidden it, at the yeah. contours. Uh, I then you understand it more, no? Yeah. If you make it, an, uh, if we made the Cinderella table an anonymous blob, then nobody would, uh, uh, I think, be as amazed uh, uh, as now because now you think oh yeah original furniture suddenly in a different context uh, these old furniture makers made things from wood and well you just start to think a little bit different at least that was the goal you know uh, uh, maybe some people think whatever but uh, in that time uh, when we made it people uh, stopped for a little bit and said i don't understand how this is made and that was exactly what we wanted. Modern craftsmanship made by computers, uh, uh, made by sketching, made by uh, 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 robots that can still have the same amazement as a Louis the 18th, 14th uh, cabinet made by 60 craftsmanship. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, and amazement in, in the sense that you have different uh, kind of people, not lower or higher, but more here and there. Uh, for example, construction guys, they, they, they have a different uh, uh, way of seeing things. And if you can inspire even the, uh, those people that uh, normally not, uh, and don't know this world and mostly also a little bit uh, uh, yeah, scared about it in the sense like, oh, this art, uh, uh, whatever. Yeah. Art, art is this, no? Uh, this, yeah, and, and then you put this, uh, and then this is art. Yeah, and then you don't understand it, and I also don't understand no. it. So that's why we also don't like museums mostly. But, uh, um, if they understand it, I think then you have something very good. Yeah. yeah. And not only construction guys, but just people that are normally not in this in your world, and you you can still amaze them. Yeah. What we do, we have uh, main designers like uh, the, the project leaders, and around that uh, we design things. This is uh, unit was the project leader of these two objects. Uh, actually, uh, graduation work, and this was also graduation work, or just after it, no? Just after it. I think I just after it. Yeah. Um, no, they also belong. And it's also about storytelling. It's just that uh, when you put it like this, it's off. And, and there, there's a battery that you can recharge. And just when uh, in the early days, you were like candles walking like this in the house. So we wanted to, uh, uh, to create uh, that same uh, feeling or uh, an image that you could not have only a flashlight, but just really like uh, with a romantic uh, touch to it. 
Um, and this was more uh, on how they made shoes. In Holland uh, you had a big culture about uh, shoe uh, companies and craftsmen. It now disappeared unfortunately. But the technique is based on that. So we, uh, um, yeah, all the stitches, it was really hard because this is um, trespa, it's, it's sort of uh, plastic, to stitch through here and uh, eventually you get a very strong chair. It's this, still set it, but it's not in huge numbers because this is 1200 euros. So that's the discussion what we had. It's it's all hand labor. There are no machines helping. It's all like craftsmen yeah. people uh, making it. A few it. big molds to vacuum the well. But the, it's it's the, the 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 only reason why, for instance, this worked and this didn't is because we got a reaction on this yeah. and we didn't on this. So if we don't get a reaction, we just put it here and say, well, that was a nice project. Next, yeah. go on. If if somebody doesn't like the story, then we we're not going to push it in the world. No, but we invested a lot for our studio in that time to uh, have the, uh, the ceramics, to have everything like yeah. exactly what we wanted. Uh, this is all custom made. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's a lot of, uh, and also bending this. Yeah, no, we spent a lot of money and there was a guy sitting next to us in a different, in this same space, but a, a different company. He said like, what are you, no. that you dare to do that? Like invest so much money in a product that you don't, you, you don't have a client, you don't have a, uh, uh, somebody that is, that is investing in it. But I think uh, because we also have self-initiated projects, not only like people asking us, um, we continue our, uh, our, our brains, our inspiration, and this maybe can come in handy in another way. I was just uh, on my bicycle uh, and there were like industrial area with all the chain link fences. I don't know if you have that all in, in your place, but uh, in Holland they only use chain link fence. And uh, in, in, in one spot it was broken and they used a the foreign wire to fix it, but just randomly, like, uh, like somebody didn't really put any effort in, in doing it nicely. And I, that triggered my mind. Like just, if you direct that yeah. into a more, uh, in, into it your design. Much more, yeah. And there it grows and grows and grows. But what is really nice, I think if there's a, an ID that, uh, and what is good about, I think this ID, and I never thought about it, that it, was, that, that it had that strength, but is that people now starting to have their own interpretations and, and creative ideas. So architects come to us like they want to have, make a ceiling. It's actually now happening for Sweden. So we were very lucky to have a factory in India um, uh, because we, we just had a big architect company call us, say, um, can you produce this? And we just said, of course we can. And then we had a problem. We, didn't, yeah, we, we, we could couldn't. not produce. <laughs> but we had a friend in India uh, who had a really rich father in the construction world. They gave us a little plot of land and uh, you've lived there for two and a half years. And after two and a half years, we started working on other things and projects. And the last two and a half years, we didn't have almost no income because we worked on new pieces. And, and, and uh, we're working a lot of freelancers, paying a lot of companies to make tests and products. And, and the company in India made that possible. Because you have like, uh, 30, uh, uh, like 35 uh, permanent people, and then like the studio, you expand if it's necessary. But there are 35 families. So that means you, you get a very big responsibility. Actually, we realized after when the, the factory we got more orders because first we thought like only one project and it will be finished. Now it's growing. Uh, it's good that you, all of a sudden you have a factory and you have to keep them busy. So, and sometimes that's, we are only project based. We don't have any stock. It's like only when a project comes in, we produce. So uh, then we started thinking it's very smart to also have some uh, yeah, more steady uh, production but line going uh, next to it. And we're going to design new fences for sure, yeah. but we didn't have the time yet. No. Because we had a project uh, uh, first in Shanghai and there in, uh, after in, ta in Taipei for uh, a huge uh, company like L'Oreal, like, but then in, in, in Asia. Um, and they asked us to design a whole resort, so architecture. And it was a collaboration between us and Joris Laman, and actually, Todd Bonge. and Todd Bonge also. Um, so all of a sudden we were architects, landscape yeah. architects, but also like really creating buildings. Yeah. Uh, it didn't go through, by the way. I think maybe a copy is now standing somewhere in China. But uh, um, it was a bizarre experience, but it was also perfect, because normally you think as an, uh, as an architect, but we came from a different direction. Yeah. And all of, so that was really uh, a lot of liberating. You know, we, 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 we uh, just a small, uh, what we did is we, um, uh, um, the symbol of that area was a fish. So what we did is, uh, uh, and they never uh, reuse anything. They just demolish it 
and uh, make something new. So what we thought, would it not be really great to collect all the old, because the poorer uh, people that, that uh, build houses use second-hand doors and windows. Would it not be really nice to collect a lot of uh, beautiful old windows, modern windows, and make a, a, um, a box, a, that skin, can, a, skin. a skin that can breathe, um, so in the morning it wakes up with you, so so le uh, uh, windows go open, levers go uh, it's like uh, open a, up. A building with like the, the fish that has the yeah. key, the cues. Yeah. So well, and and um, that, that that the building breathes with you instead of it just being an, an static object that 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 looks nice. So playing with light and and fr air because yeah. it was very uh, uh, humid and and warm climate. So we had to do some. So we wanted to have a, the building itself to be a, a natural AC. Yeah, so that's how now anything uh, like. But we like had that, to uh, convince the client that reusing an old window wasn't low class. Yeah, they you thought know? like, what? That's for the poor people. What yeah, are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, we need Gucci uh, windows. No, no, not yeah. uh, not not a poor man's window. But we uh, tried to explain that 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 window uh, uh, had a life. It's much more valuable than something new. Uh, so if you put it in a different context, it's even more new than this this Gucci window. Um, and but at a certain moment, uh, uh, um, well, the mother of the of the daughter that owned the company came in and she changed the whole plan and and well then it no, went it crazy. It started with 90 people and, uh, yeah. for the resort and eventually 600. Yeah. We said now we have a solution. We're gonna just put all the people underground. <laughs> like she was looking at us <laughs> and we were also looking like yeah, what do you want from us? Like yeah. 600 uh, you guests. Wanna, you wanna have an area flat building? Like yeah. yeah, it was too small the whole area. No, anyway, it was bizarre. Project. Project. Bizarre. Yeah, and, and we, we learned a lot. At a certain moment, we uh, I, I Get remember in advance. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, but I remember where it went wrong. We were sitting like there with like staff directors and and chi all Chinese, uh, a big shot of the companies, and we were all these Dutch kids sitting on the other side. And in a certain moment, somebody made a Dutch joke, and we sh we couldn't get out of our laughing, uh, and, yeah. and we started even crying. Yeah, the people had to go out. Yours had to leave the the meeting, and it was a super important. Yeah, meeting. you know, all suits. <laughs> and, and we lost them. We lost the <laughs> assignment right there. No, and then no, no, no. I think we lost because we were just uh, uh, not uh, uh, accepting that 600. Yeah, and yeah. We're not yeah. accepting. They said like. Uh, they wanted to do it for free, so that it would be an oh investment yeah. for our yeah. career. But it's a billion dollar company, like why for free? Uh, we don't have money. Yeah. Give it a little bit to us, no? Share it. We share ideas. Um, so we were not agreeing, but eventually it became such a weird discussion that we said, okay, fine, we'll do it for free, but then we want to be on all the buses of China. Yeah. And with our faces on like this. <laughs> and really, yeah, no, fine, then we arranged it. We had something no man. Yeah. That was a joke. Yeah, <laughs> it's not the point. No, but, okay. but anyway, it was a crazy project. Yeah. Um, but I want to I want to show you this little uh, 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 prototypes that never ever uh, got published or uh, reacted on. But we really liked them. This was uh, before iPhone, before anything. There was the, the big Nokia's were the thing of uh, the wow, um, and we thought uh, uh, we we missed a certain element of of uh, realness. Like like these these things could also be a razor. They, uh, they, uh, they could next time if they float to you, nobody would be amazed anymore. They just accepted it as as another gadget. So um, we thought, let's make something that that uh, that you can give still to your grandchildren, but it can adapt to the uh, to the modern thing of um, uh, adapting uh, software and no? interface. Yeah. So this is just based on a tool, like a fast tool, uh, drilling machines and and tools. You can hammer an, uh, a nail in it, and you just need the basic uh, thing to turn, and this is it. You know, and you also have these telephone pole, uh, um, these big phones. But we wanted character in, in, in this little thing, and instead of an anonymous box from, made from plastic. You know, this, this should be casted iron, and, and well, okay. This one, we thought the body, the body of the whole uh, uh, phone should be the body, and then uh, uh, during time, designs change, things change. It's like a, like a watch. Yeah. You upgrade your watch. Yeah. So you keep this, or maybe you can change this, but you keep the body, and you can always uh, make it digital, whatever you want. Yeah, this, this was really uh, um, based on, on, on a watch, uh, how things work. You can uh, have your uh, grandfather's watch, but you can't have your grandfather's phone. Mm. So, uh, um, and we missed, we missed the, 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 the feeling of paper. Uh, you, you, you have you, a text you, message, a very uh, um, uh, emotional, uh, I love you uh, text message. It's yeah. just in that machine, you want to yeah. get it out. 
So we, uh, you normally have to with cash registers. It's like uh, they Small can print. Yeah, they, they, but it's not like it's just with heat. Yeah. Hey, if you put it in the sun, it also disappears. Uh, so the technique time. is there to print your uh, your messages, and that was like uh, because uh, we were amazed, like uh, you know, you send in a little message, it goes up to the, the the sky into the universe and comes back, and. Yeah, we Nobody still, makes that special. Yeah, and we were still amazed about it. Yeah, yeah. so, so uh, 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 a little, now it's gone, but this is a little um, a printer inside, and then it doesn't work, that's prototyping. And then a little print, printed thing, so if, if somebody even, uh, uh, if touch screen came up, it didn't exist then yet, you can write down, uh, uh, darling, I really, really, really love you, you had a great night. Boom, print it out, and the one person can save it again as a yeah. love letter. Yeah. You know, we've, we found that that, that uh, technique uh, forgot about uh, heritage and forgot about sensitivity of, of what, what, what handwriting and amazement we still is. Yeah, we sound like old people, but the generation, my sister and, and uh, her children, I think they will never write a, a real love letter. They will no. text it, SMS it, uh, ma mail it, but not a real uh, written one. And maybe that's good, but. We love heritage. Yeah, so take a little bit of that quality. Yeah, yeah you don't have to have that, uh, like uh, with a feather writing, we, we don't do it anymore. Uh, we understand, that's yeah. not functional anymore. But a little bit of that beauty, that would be nice to... Uh, to After 20 years, you don't have to get a CD that, that maybe is already not uh, working anymore. But, but you, you get a little box and you say, this, this was my f first mobile love letter. I think for 99% the, the, the computer drawings, if you put uh, on the polygon lines, are more beautiful than the product that comes out. Uh, it's this beautiful drawing, but you can't touch it. The, uh, the lines are zero. You, just, you see them, but you can never make it. And we wanted to see if we can get that uh, um, um, sensitivity of this 2D picture into 3D. But the 2D and the 3D work totally different. And the, suddenly the sensitivity of these lines that you see on the screen are not here anymore. And scale. We thought it would be really nice to metalize it so that, that it looks yeah. like it was made from a, like a craftsman um, a man made like a little sculpture. So I went to Germany with my shitty car and uh, slept in the car in front of the factory until it opened and they metalized it, went back, uh, drove the wrong way to the Czech border, yeah. went back to <laughs> Holland again. We didn't have Tom Tom yet. No, <laughs> no. And then, and then suddenly uh, uh, we were in, the, uh, in front of the client and we, you know, we, had, we showed this and this and this. And he said, yeah, but yeah, but it's not the same as the image on, on, on there, the sensitivity. And he was right. Yeah, so we just right. put it there again. And maybe one day we get it off again. Maybe you guys find a solution in a different way, you know? I just think it's, uh, we want to do something now with molds. Because uh, uh, if you see injection molds, they're beautiful. they're beautiful art pieces. But what comes out is, 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 is nothing, you know? So, so all shoes, how are they called? Crocs. Crocs, yeah. I've seen the molds, they are so beautiful. Yeah. So we want to do something with this, this, this mother of attention, this mother of art that pops out uh, uh, nothingness and, and uh, see if we can make it uh, into, into something in a story. Well, well uh, we saw a movie uh, on, on a, like, like a movie about, um, I don't know, it was like, like, like a Louis XIV in France and he had a garden party mm. and he, has, he had this huge, crystal. huge crystal chandeliers yeah. hung outside for his garden party. He thought, would it not be amazing? if you could have outdoor chandeliers. Just, you know, and, and, and one car commercial also had like in, on the road, all like the chandeliers. So we, we just designed an outdoor chandelier and uh, the product development uh, um, made it a real usable yeah, we product. Yeah, just made a sketch. And yeah, and, 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 and waterproof and then you can hang it in your bathroom and whatever. So what kind of LEDs and very... But you don't, do, you, you don't think that in one image. You no. know, you just think of a little story and then it starts. This is, this is one of the um, later prototypes. First we made cardboard models. Uh, um, so we, we sketch them, we cut it out, and we make like, I think, 25 different uh, uh, chandeliers. And we just looked at them all day. And then uh, uh, together with uh, some freelancers and interns, we slowly moved it to this way. Yeah. First we had even uh, um, uh, crystals. crystals. Yeah. Um, yeah, plastic crystals. Pl plastic crystals. It yeah. really was not... Uh, <laughs> No, so uh, and we and then and suddenly the the uh, fat boy, the director uh, uh, came, Alex Bergman, and he said, "Why don't we cut them off?" 
and then we cut them off at the meeting and suddenly poof, uh, yeah. we okay now we're getting happy so we we're not uh, um only you know i'm really happy even if 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 uh i don't know uh, the cleaner comes by and says, uh, "Does this not work better?" You yeah, know, we're, we're not open like, for that. Not yeah, like, again, that ego thing. That uh, some people start worrying. No, but then it's not my idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Like, yeah. Uh, it's a better idea. No, yeah. Let, let's collaborate in that sense. Like an intern had a very good idea because we pitched. Uh, no, it was a freelance. It was Kai. Uh, so we, we did a pitch. We had that 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 big team going on, like nine, uh, uh, twelve people, something like that, and we just pitched. Okay, we're going to make a channel here. This is the the, the assignment. You go your, and do your thing. Yeah. Eventually, one uh, 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 freelancer came with actually the, the 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 main concept, and we gave him just a, a, a good bonus. And with the chandelier, it's also you know we just bought a lamp. Um, I don't know, what was it? Yeah, Philip Stark did this for yeah, Baccarat. It's a very, or it's a very or famous cartel. lamp. Cartel. Yeah, cartel. And so uh, we just said, okay, but we want it to be less yellow, uh, more bright, but we like this, the thickness of the structure. Yeah, when you see the difference already in, in, I don't know if you see it, but how bright this is and how yellow this is, even without the dust. So we are really fine tuning also, like, uh, if you do that, then you get a good product. Yeah, and LED is actually uh, a nothing, a nothing product. It's flat, it's, it's, it's bright, but it's, it's, it's a brilliant product because uh, um, it costs so much uh, less in producing energy, etc. And if you are doing a mass-produced product, I think then you should look at those things. Else, you can also work with plutonium. I don't care, but it, if if it's really going on the masses, then you should look. So we wanted to have it be uh, like a, a light bulb. Uh, this prototype is wrong, but if this th cone is actually designed that it uh, shoots down the light uh, back, so it looks like a glowing light. There's a little cone mirror is inside. Yeah, a little cone mirror. Um, and as soon as we thought of this, Philips already had it on the market. So we just uh, 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 asked for all the patents. We saw that it wasn't uh, protected uh, uh, in, in a way that this is only for Philips, so happy for us, we could use this. Yeah. So no, and, and so this is really like going like this, and then you get a little bit that nostalgic feeling and not that, that ugly LED. Yeah, yeah, that, you know that, that you work with, with still with, uh, with, with what you're uh, familiar with and that you get a, uh, an image of romance because that's what a chandelier was for us. Um, and, and still 21st century techniques. Yeah. And this is uh, handmade. It's just a turning, uh, on a turning machine. Then you get uh, to a, a, a stage that it's printed. This is 3D printed. And then you get to a stage that a Chinese company is going to make it. And then you already have really the more complex uh, parts. And what is now done is that this one, if you turn them on, are all different. And like the, the, the quality of the, uh, of the this plastic but this was too cold, so we uh, are now, actually there's another model that's maybe not here, but uh, it's warmer. Yeah, the light is so now we're uh, we already, uh, uh, we're fine tuning it. It's already on the market, but you always have to fine tune or like yeah. develop it again, more, better. You get response from clients, hey, could it be a little bit more uh, warm, the light? Or, uh, and then why all the speckles in the, in the, why couldn't it be like a smooth surface? Yeah. And then you redevelop it. Solar panels are actually real crystal. So chemically seen, it's it's uh, uh, it's crystal. Can you imagine that you put like like uh, such a jewel? Uh, it's like diamonds. You don't you don't put them uh, 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 on the roof because uh, for any reason. So we thought, why don't we ca uh, can do something with this beautiful material, the silicium? and uh, let the beauty come out of the material instead of these ugly uh, uh, square uh, blocks on your roof that you think Rrr. So we, we are now, this is the prototype, we are asking, uh, together with Rook Design, we're doing this project, we're asking uh, graphic designers, because we're not good graphic designers, so we need other talents to make our, our concept and design better. Um, and this is the first prototype of uh, uh, solar panels um, graphics, 
on big buildings. Yeah. So you can have, uh, the first thing you think of uh, is an ivy uh, 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 growing with flowers, but you can also have, this is a, a horse, a uh, head of a horse with, with metal, uh, with medallions on it. Uh, you can do anything what a graphic designer can think of, graffiti, and it can be solar paneled on a, on, a, on a building and suddenly it becomes also something of beauty instead of only these ugly panels being functional. So just put it in a little different concept. A little, no, yeah, yeah. And it's a little bit less functional, of course, yeah. Yeah, because you lose a lot when you cut it into a shape. But who cares? Then you put yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, I think beauty and aesthetics should uh, uh, overcome only functional things. Else we, you know, we can get only get gray buildings with yeah. windows. And, and, and why should anything be beautiful? Why, do, why should we not all wear gray clothes? So, you know, beauty is important. Aesthetics are important. It just has to have a meaning and not only be styling. Yeah. This, yeah. Is a, this is a, a prototype of the Cinderella table that's going to be destroyed. It's here a little bit for no nostalgic reasons. Uh, sometimes it goes wrong in production and this is one uh, was where it went wrong in the production. And um, the factory uh, really did a bad job on, the, uh, uh, on finishing uh, the inside. And the gluing. And the gluing. Uh, and then we had a little discussion about that and uh, I... Uh, yeah. Jeroen got angry. And then I destroyed it and then uh, <laughs> we have to throw it away. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a short story on, on a long story yeah, that he, the, uh, he uh, touched the wrong buttons and then... Uh this is the new table. So this is all stainless steel uh, and they're all parts, like there are 165 parts, all bolted together with uh, bolt and nuts. Yeah, and you have to imagine eh, that, that a lot of... Um, we were in the beginning stage of, of just when we came out of the academy, I, I learned like for three months uh, a 3D program. I'm not good at 3D program. Uh, uh, now maybe uh, a good pilot, uh, cut pilot, can make it in one go. I made it in 165 pieces, and suddenly we thought maybe we should leave it like that because then you see that each individual part has his own attention. Now, if you make it one surface, then you concentrate on one. But if you think this is different, this is different, this, this is, is different. the inside of the table. So it's, it's bolted together with two and a half thousand screws and bolts. And this is me. Oh, this is you did. No, it's you. Yeah. So Frans Alenke did that, like with the faces in the uh, in yeah, furniture, with romantic, clients yeah. or, or religious objects. We thought, like, let's do it <laughs> with our own faces. Yeah. I yeah, know I was the head designer and the most important person in, in my life are Judith and Joop. So that's the reason why I used their... Uh... Talk to each other. Don't lose each other's addresses. Uh, you, you probably are in school now already know who you like and what your, uh, uh, your talent is. And, and, and if you have a connection with them, keep in contact at least. And if you have an ID, just make meetings, dinners, uh, 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 even parties, discuss about things. And if they're good, put, a, put some sketches on the internet, on Core 77, Design Boom, whatever. Uh, uh, see what the reaction of the public is. And you should see, suddenly, your email address is going to receive emails. From people think, hey, I like this, I like this, I like this. So get it out there. Yeah. And uh, self-initiate projects, like, uh, and don't care about uh, your bank account, care about uh, that you make it. Yeah. And do anything for that. And so convince, uh, try to convince people. You know, and and when, when I was a student, I literally, li we needed money f to produce this, and we didn't have money. So we did a simple thing. I went to the most expensive neighborhood in Holland and just, ding, <laughs> this is my sketch. And I, wanted, I was sent away like 50 times. And uh, I went to the bank, I said, you have an art collection. Uh, um, uh, why don't fund me as an artist? Um, They're still sorry that he didn't do that. No, so because uh, the table was there for them nothing. No, and now it's worth a lot. So. Yeah, so they didn't do it in the end. So at, in the end, I uh, from, for my father-in-law, I borrowed the money, and he got it uh, back with interest. But the uh, the thing is, if you just really believe in your ID, you know, go to the president or I don't know what you have there, but y just make it happen. Yeah, in any way. And be uh, not that modest. Like, hey, like uh, I know sometimes you just sometimes it's your character, 
But uh, don't be modest, uh, not not uh, like ego, like I'm fantastic, but not, don't be modest in the sense if you really believe in it, you shout it, like everybody should hear it. Yeah, we, 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 I know, I know uh, we got two uh, investors now, just because we were talking at a dinner and, and you're talking to persons and then suddenly you're talking about, would it not be great to do this, 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 and this guy, we didn't know his bank account, didn't know nothing, he said, I want to work with you. And suddenly we realized he was really big. So... That helps, you know, but always keep communicating your story because I think if you turn on the way of thinking, you're, you're not suddenly a normal person and then you're the artist, designer or whatever. You're always this person. If, if the story is on the, the storytelling machine, then it never stops, at least not in our minds. Nobody likes yeah, some it. people that uh, when you're in a group, no, like uh, let's do it with a campfire or in a cafe. There are some people that are very good at storytelling. Like you wish you had that talent, and like uh, and, and they can even tell your story better. Uh, that's the same with design, uh, um, but then shaping it. Yeah. Storytelling, it's maybe not finished, and it's not, and it's 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 just a very rough boulder. But I cannot paint. So it, it's, it's no problem to just uh, get the best painters in the world, say, we did this with, with all of us. I needed you, I needed you, I needed you. Yeah. I just made an ID. Yeah. Let's let, uh, 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 so so it, collaborate. Collaborate, yeah. So this for us also design, to collaborate with uh, different people and talents. Yeah, design and, uh, is collaborating anyway. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't collaborate as a designer, you must be or damn brilliant or very lonely. Yeah, mostly lonely, I guess. Yeah, yeah.